One of the challenges leading large-scale transformations during COVID is how do you do this and adapt in the context where much of the workforce has been a hybrid or fully remote. We've learned a few things that have really helped and a few things that we always knew became more important when much of the organization has been virtual. The first thing that we saw was the importance of the change story in that every employee really does need to understand not just what we're doing or what we're asking them to do, but why we're asking them to do it and how what they're gonna do and the why translates to the broader organization goals in a way that's personal and, and meaningful for them. Second, to get things done in the virtual context, we've really had to rely more on collaboration tools that allow people to work with each other in an agile way. And leveraging collaboration tools around initiative tracking uh, has made a big difference. And that's letting people work and edit and having workflow and approvals around different initiatives or having people to be able to, to see what others are doing for similar kinds of ideas, being able to benchmark uh, how long things should take uh, how you go about sizing something, what milestones might be, and letting people comment on that um, in the context of the initiatives that they're driving. And then lastly, we've had to look hard at incentives and having a mix of incentives around what difference am I making as an individual? What's the difference that I'm making to the team? Uh, and then what's the difference that I'm making to the broader organization. And we often find that companies will sometimes over pivot towards one of those three buckets. And so we've really seen a push to try to have much more of a balance.